this is what hunting turkeys about. Up next on Virginia Outdoor Life, if it's turkey you want, she's got it. We'll go hunting with Katherine Taylor. And if it's speed you need, we've got that too. Take a ride on some of the fastest boats on the water. Those stories and a whole lot more coming up next on Virginia Outdoor Life. <laughs> Hello, folks, and welcome once again to Virginia Outdoor Life. My name is Jim Hale, and this is Captain Eric Burnley here for our show on Saturday, May the 11th. So glad you could join us. And uh, how you doing, Captain? Doing just fine. Water, weather's finally getting a little warmer. The water's getting a little warmer. And I know sooner or later the fish will get here. So. Yeah, <laughs> we got to get what? Up in about the 60s 55, the 60, I, trout. And, over 60 uh, is good. Yeah. 55 fish will start moving and, and eating. But I... In my experience, over 60 is when things really come on. Man, I've lived here for eight years now. I don't think I can remember a spring when it's been no. so cold and wet it, and rainy. It's and, been awful. And, yeah, and it's the cold. It's the cold water that's really holding up the saltwater right. fish. Now, freshwater guys are having a ball. Right. And, you know, that weather hasn't done a darn bit of good either for the turkey hunters, really. It's, it's, you talk to turkey hunters, it has been a tough season. And we are now down to the last seven days of the gobbler season. So... Wouldn't you think it's about time we finally got one? Uh, and yes, we did. Uh, we got together with one of the best hunters you'll ever know. Her name is Katherine Taylor. She is incredible. She took us out to Surrey on our buddy's uh, land up there and gave us an idea just why she is so passionate about hunting. I love nature and it's something I've done all my life. I was raised doing it, and uh, we've done it for food. It's just something I enjoy doing. There are five gobblers over here. <laughs> so right. we're hoping, and one of them is a real nice bird. We watched him last night in the field by himself, and I'm sure it's the same one I saw yesterday. Nice beard. Big, thick, fat beard. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Three birds going so far. One's kind of deep, two are down there on the end of the swamp. Right. We're deciding on what we want to do right now. Um, and right now they're on their roost. Yeah, on the roost means they're still up in the trees roosting. They have not flown down right. to come to the ground. Right. And uh, so what we'd like to do is set up before they fly down, get all set up and everything. And then once they fly down, work them into us if we can. Catherine staked out her position, getting as close to the gobbler as she could without spooking him. And in just a matter of minutes, he answered back, letting us know that he was indeed coming. But after a waiting game of more than an hour, a barking dog sent our Tom back up to his roost, spoiling what promised to be a golden opportunity. I don't know where that dog come from. <laughs> but it happens sometimes, you know. It's happened to me more than once. That's what? That's, that's part of the game. Our guide, Doug Noel, had seen several gobblers roosting in a freshly planted cornfield, so Kathy set up a decoy and tried a few calls. However, the only thing interested was a resident goose. But Catherine wasn't about to give up. Along with husband Robbie, we tried a few other locations before going back to our first spot. I think she's a very good one. I yeah. really do. She's, uh... She's conscientious about what she does. Uh, she's careful with other people's land uh, that she has the opportunity to hunt. She's a safe hunter. They're very intelligent. They're so smart. And it's just, it's a challenge to me because I like to outwit them just to see if I could do it. And it's just, just it's not that I actually want to kill them. I've passed up birds before. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, they've come in range where I can shoot them. If they're a Jake or a hen or something, you know, I just say to myself, bang, because they're mine. I've had them, they're there, but I just let them go right on by. I've done that with deer, too. In five years of turkey hunting, Catherine has taken five shots and harvested five birds. And on this morning, there was still plenty of time left to keep her streak going. Turkeys see color, mm -hmm. and you have to fool their eyesight and their movement. Is, I mean, you can't even move at all, and um, I wear mossy oak. And as luck would have it, Catherine got to put her Remington to the test. 
she had decided to venture off on her own, determined to get another shot at our dog-shy Tom. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. We did it. Right. We did it. All right. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. You can tell he's not a jay because he's got a nice full fan. This is what hunting turkey's about. Takes a lot of patience, though. If you got the patience to wait, we'll go home with the trophy. Not every time, though. <laughs> All, right. All right. That was great, that wasn't it? That was neat. I'll tell you, that is fantastic. Yeah. That, as she said, is what it's all about. You got it. And our thanks to Doug Nall for letting us hunt there up at his place his place you know Catherine is one heck of a deer hunter too you heard her say she's now six for six she shot six times I mean the lady is a hunter man yes, yes. and she estimates she's probably uh, harvested uh, at least 30 deer so mm -hmm. we're gonna hook back up with her when uh, deer season comes around and Catherine thank you so much for that nice turkey breast that uh, she gave me I'm gonna cook it this weekend uh, oh, uh, Mike Bibbo uh, he's already cooked his up Oh, is that right? And he said it was good. <laughs> he, he fried it up just like she instructed it. So uh, okay. uh, she knows how to cook, too. But uh, we uh, look forward to hooking up with uh, Catherine and Robbie again real soon. Coming up, we're going to pick up the pace. We're going to take you out in one of the fastest boats at the beach. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Virginia Outdoor Life here on WTKR News Channel 3. And uh, my partner, Eric Burnley, here thinks he's speed racer all no, of a sudden. No, no, yeah. no. Ed Zalaji is speed racer. Yeah. Eric is speed rider. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, this this was something, though, wasn't it? Oh, I tell you, these boats are, these boats are really exciting. And uh, we borrowed a Wellcraft Scarab from Lynn Haven Marine. And, boy, did we get an education in speed, let me tell you. We're going to look at a boat that's designed to go fast. It's not a fishing boat, it's a, it's a speed type of boat, and why it's different and the way it's laid out uh, different than a regular power boat or a pleasure boat or fishing boat, beginning with this Volvo Penta lower unit. Ed, you want to uh, explain the differences and, and why it's designed the way it is? Sure, Eric. This is a uh, high performance uh, DPX unit uh, produced by Volvo Penta. It's uh, designed to go 60 plus miles an hour. Um, it's a twin propeller unit. The props rotate in different right. directions. What that does is reduces slip. It gives us better acceleration and it gives us a higher top speed. Uh, with the safety image that Volvo has, we have a integral hydraulic steering system, which are these rams right here where the steering from the helm all the way back is a Volvo system. It's a hydraulic uh, helm up in front which acts as a valve and you have a pump on the engine which pressurizes the system and gives you hydraulic power steering. Huh. It, there's zero play in the unit which gives you very, very good control up at higher speeds. On performance boats of this, this type, in a lot of areas of the country there are noise regulations. So what you could do is you could flip a switch and it's called the captain's call system where you can run the exhaust through the drive, exhausting through the propellers and the cavitation plate uh, for quiet operation in, you know, in the harbor areas and around right, homes right. and so on. But then you can also have the exhaust coming out, out of one of the these. exhaust outlets, right. both sides, right. and which will give you the additional speed. Now let's talk a little bit about the bottom on this boat. This is what they call a 24 degree bottom. In other words, the V on the bottom itself is 24 degrees. And as you can see with a performance boat, if you look at the front of it, you see how, the, how it's got a knife, knife style entryway, right. All right, and you see the additional lifting strakes. These strakes provide additional lift all right, to keep the bow of the boat up and running, and when you do you know, run into a wave, 
it'll help pick the bow of the boat up uh, instead of stuffing it into the wave a little bit. Another item that we teach when we're doing our driver's training program, as you know, Volvo Penta's uh, uh, coming up and uh, doing a driver's training program for high performance driving, is that <laughs> when, as we're going out now, I know that you know how to operate a boat, Eric, but uh, so we don't have to go into it, but you always wanna make sure that, uh, especially if you're taking a group of people out that have never been out on a boat, you always explain what you're going to do as far as uh, acceleration, deceleration. Explain to people how to hold on on a boat. And always take somebody who uh, you think would be able to handle the boat in case you're hurt and explain the basics to them of how to operate the boat so that they can always get back in in case there is a problem. Everybody set? Hey, back it off there, bud. <laughs> How fast were y'all going, 64 man? miles an hour. Looked pretty stable. Well, no, we had the the radar there, gun yeah. out, and it was 64 miles. Oh, the boat's great. It was just that uh, a certain camera person slid to the starboard side and caused the whole boat to lay over. Well, but, he does. Uh, we yeah. Will measure, yeah, I, I've, yeah, I've yeah. been on the boat with him when he does that, too. I know what you mean. But yeah. let me point yeah. out one thing. You notice Ed and I both had our PFDs on. Yes. And you notice last week on the Bass Show, we were wearing our PFDs. Right. That is the most important boating safety feature you can do. Yeah, that, that's right. I was told about a, a, a tragedy, a young man out in Southampton County uh, just yeah. last week. You're right. Anyway, there's the, the driving school, 436-5128, and they will show you how to run a boat uh, at high speeds at that driving school. They, of course, they don't have them every week, so you have to call there and make an appointment. And also, if you're interested in that boat, they've got it at Lynn Haven Marine, less than $60,000. You can call Dave Dugan over there, and he'll be more than happy to fill out a sales form yeah. for you. I'll be calling you Monday, <laughs> Dave. Hey, if you've been watching the show, then you know about the 8th Annual Clean the Bay Day. It's uh, coming up June 8th, and we do need your help. We're looking for volunteers to come out and help clean up area shorelines. We here at Virginia Outdoor Life are putting a team together to go out and clean. And uh, you can... Hey, welcome back. I hope you're feeling lucky because we here at Virginia Outdoor Life, along with Conti's Bike and Fitness, are giving away two mountain bikes. And uh, here's what they look like right here. Uh, they are Barracuda A2Rs, uh, valued at over $1,200. We're also going to throw in some accessories from Conti's. We'll draw one winner on our show May 25th. And each week leading up to the drawing, we'll introduce you to a mountain bike product that will help you on here. the trail. It is water bottles. Go ahead. We got another one there. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. Now, water bottles, that's, that's the code word. You need to send in on your postcard. And, uh, of course, you always want to have these on with, with you on your bike. On so bike uh, let's uh, put up that information. Uh, that's what you got to do. Uh, that's where you can go if you want to take a look at these Barracudas up close right there. Three locations around town. So all you got to do is write down water bottle, send it in the address you saw earlier, and we'll draw a winner on our May 25th show. Time right now to take a look at some of the great pictures sent in by you guys in the outdoor scrapbook. There you go, bud. There so let's are. go ahead and check those out. Starting with Mr. David Parks from Eastville on the Eastern Shore with a nice flounder he's got there, Captain. And it's just, just about flounder time again, isn't flounder it? Flounder been, been fair over there. Not, not as good as we'd like, but uh. they're, they're getting better every day. Okay. And we should have Mr. Justin Hancock at Chesapeake. Look at yes, that. sir. 20 pound, eight ounce turkey. 10 inch beard, one inch spur. Killed in Bedford. 
took an hour to call him in, 16 years old, and he likes paintball. Obviously, the One man is paintball a buddies. serious outdoorsman. I yes, imagine. indeed. Number three, Dwayne Noblick of Norfolk with a big old rockfish. One of 35 he caught last March at the Bay Bridge Tunnel. And released, please. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you got <laughs> to release him in or you All could right, go to there's Miss right. Stacy Joyner of uh, Franklin and her first buck, 10.150 pounds. She was hunting with her boyfriend at Tucker Swamp Hunt Club in Southampton County. Nice animal, nice animal. Way to go. Beautiful. All right, Mr. Robert Fur of Hampton here with a 54-pound king salmon caught on the Kenai River in Alaska. What a trip he had there. Oh, fish. What you know, they fish. do some serious uh, fishing up there. A big fish up in that part of the world. All right, now we have Brian Rhodes of Dinwiddie. Uh, this is a shot of the Rodanthe oh, Pier nice. at sunrise. Beautiful picture, very well done. And he wanted to know what happened to the people that won the trip on the tuna duck. Well, nothing's happened to them as far as we know, but uh, the yeah, weather was terrible. Safe, yeah, as far as we know, they're all safe and well, but yeah. the weather was terrible that day. And we have rescheduled their trip for June the 16th, and we'll be taking them out then. Hello folks, welcome back to Virginia Outdoor Life. Once again, it's hot product time and boy do we have a dandy. I hold it in my hand right here. This little invention was sent to us by a man named Jerry Adams out in Suffolk who called us up and it is a fantastic uh, device here that helps you move your uh, truck back to uh, line your truck up with your, uh, your trailer or whatever it is you happen to be pulling. And uh, in case you're a little bit confused by exactly what I'm talking about, <laughs> we're just gonna show you right now, so here. <laughs> This is an incredible invention you've made here. Tell, tell us how the linebacker works, just, just uh, in general here. Okay, oh, great. The linebacker uh, works by line of sight. There's a red dot in the center of the truck, which is uh, where the ball sits. And uh, as you back up, you line the uh, red dot with the antenna. And as you're coming back, uh, the truck license tag, where the back of the truck hits a stainless steel rod, which releases a spring mechanism, and your stop indicator pops up and, and puts you right on the ball. And when you're in the truck and you look back and see this has risen to the top, then you're on target. Right on, right on, you're right there. That's pretty amazing, and even somebody like me could perform this, right? Great, yep. You're right on it. <laughs> All right, Jerry. All right, buddy. Look at that, I'm right over it. Right on it. This thing really works. It works fantastic. All right, what an outstanding hot product. Thank Great. you very much, Thank sir. you, thank you. All right. Okay, that's where you call Jerry if you'd like to get one of these awesome, awesome products here. They really work, as you can see. I've never done it before, and I nailed it. I was right on, it's Captain. So, so let me tell you. it's All time right, to reach in here and pick our winner. Go ahead and pick All one right, up. Here he comes. Pick here it out comes. deep there. I got there it. Go. I got it. And it goes to Keith Sullivan from Virginia Beach. Captain, it? yes, it's been a good show. I I've enjoyed so. it, buddy. Let's yep, put this thing fun. back up here. Say goodbye to him. The, yep. uh, we expect the fishing to get better as Gotta the weather get better. warms up. we got one more week to try and get a turkey. I'm going to do that. And until then, we'll see you next week on Virginia Outdoor Life. Y'all take a ease.